Namaste. In this session, we are going to take you through our first lesson on chair yoga. I guess the, the concept of chair yoga, this adaptation, adapted variation of our hatha yoga practices, kiriyas and prakriyas, can be quite a blessing for people who are limited mobility or, or have to spend quite a lot of time on to the chair or wheelchair. Also, people who are struggling with the, the weak joints or, or sort of injuries into the, the lower body areas, it can be quite a, quite a blessing to get a bit of mobility. And it really helps to stimulate our peripheral nervous system, stimulate our muscles and joints around the body we can move in. And the most beautiful thing about the chair yoga, it starts to give you or open your ideas on how you can adapt the practices and teach it out to people. You know, it's very easy to get caught and feel limited, like what can I do with people? But when you start to think actually what you can do, you have a whole, whole new dimension of your yogi practices, your teachings can really come in existence. So overall, you know, the chair yoga practices can be helping people to the, the muscular flexibility, our motor skills, our strength, endurance, quite amazing for the joints or the body parts you can move in and help to create a new neuroplasticity to bring some clarity of your mind. It will help improving your relaxation response. Also, your, your, your blood circulation will improve your energy circulation will enhance. Your sleep will be much better. It also improve your concentration and, and your memory skills. So let's begin, if you like, just sit back on your chair, your feet relax, or ideally if we can, we don't want to close our legs, just, just relax them. And then close your hands or interlace your fingers on your left. Just gently and softly close your eyes. Just consciously scan up and down through your body. Inhaling and exhaling from feet to head and head to feet. Becoming aware or conscious to your own body, your own joints, your muscles. Keep bringing your mind again, again, again and again back to your breath. Take your hands to your heart, gently and softly slowly let your hands, the palms to the chest, to warm them up and then a nice conscious soft touch all over your face your head, your neck and your shoulders and give a good sit to your hand and then open your eyes. Let's see if we can maybe take our legs forward a little bit and then just gently wiggle your toes. It's creating a little gentle sensation in your feet, your ankle joints, also stimulating your nerves, your cranial nerves, your, your ligaments through your legs and then just Breathe in and open and expand your toes out and breathe out, squeeze them together. Breathe in, open out, out and squeeze, breathe in and then out, breathe in and then out, breathe in and then out and then release. Relax now. Just place your feet on the floor and see if you can breathe in and raise your heels up coming up from your tiptoes and then breathe out. Take your heels down and then raise your toes, your feet up and then keep following. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. One more. Breathe in. And out. Now just take your legs forward a little bit further 
and then with your feet, sort of your hip, your knee width, and then breathe in, just roll your legs out, take your feet, maybe some of us can touch our toes to the floor, and then breathe out, bring them in, and again touch your toes into the floor, your knees also closing in, so breathe in, open them out, and then out, and close them, breathe in, and out, Breathe in and out. One more. Breathe in and let out. And let it relax. Take your feet. Now sit upright and stay. Come slightly forward. Just uh, nice and comfortable back. And then gently bring your hands on your knees and you breathe in here. And as you're breathing out, can we gently move forward? Just gently folding forward, you can let your hands slide down towards your feet and then head down. And then breathe in gently and slowly raise back up. Again, breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And then breathe in, come back up. Take a moment just to sit here. Now, can we just take our legs a little bit more further forward? Nice and straight. Drop your arms to both sides. Let's do our Paschimottanasana chair variation. So breathe in, take your arms up, to stretch. And then breathe out, gently come forward. You can take your hands all the way to the floor, to your legs, head down towards your feet. And then breathe again, take back up. Let's do two more, breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And then breathe in, take your arms back up, and release your arms in a big circle. Relax. Let's give a nice massage into our shoulder blades, giving them a nice clockwise and then anti clockwise. Take your head down and then circle your head again nice and smoothly. Change direction. Lovely. And let's bring our feet under our knees again. So this time, if you can, just cross your hands on your knees. So we're going to try to do our chair Uzangasana variation. Gently fold further forward and drop your head down. Breathe out here. Now can you breathe in, take your head up and press on your arms and press your chest forward and head up. And then sigh your breath to release. Breathe in and forward up. Again, breathe in. Just rest here for a moment. And then gently bring your head up and ease yourself to come back up straight. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Can I ask a question? Of course. So classically in the Bhuja and the Paschimottana, when we do it from the mat, we usually have the legs closed. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us about the benefits of having the legs open here with the chair? Okay, as we are talking here on the people who have limited mobility, so if, say, their legs are slightly open, they have a little bit more sort of balance and then they feel more grounded by their feet, they close their feet as 
it really engages the knees and the hips. If people can do it, then obviously they will benefit more. Mm -hmm. But in an adapted variation, if your legs wider, there is a little bit more gravitational balance with the feet, sort of creating the, the two, two balancing points for us. Otherwise, yes, you're quite right, you can have your feet closed. Mm -hmm. You can also do it with your arms straight. So we, you can try to have your feet closed. Maybe let's just have a couple of variations that way so you can sort of see how you feel. So take a deep in breath and then breathe out. Fold forward. So your elbows coming along your side. Think if you're just lying straight on the floor and then head down. And then now breathing in. Gently press on your arms to go up straight, but push your chin chest forward and look up. Your elbows is still tucked along your side. And then sigh your breath. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. And again, sit up. And then sit back up and stay. So for this whole uh sequence we're trying to keep the elbows on the tops of the thighs the whole time yes because, that, lifting them up. because the minute you lift your elbows up you not really so to think of when your elbows are there your movement is really opening your your upper chest and creating the movement for the upper back also really good for the the mid and upper chest breathing too so we can try a couple of ways you now a couple of rounds with the legs wide open just to get a bit of feel again your elbows stuck on your thighs alongside breathe in and then out and come forward breathe in press up and forward side breath really helping releasing our emotions negative energy out in In. Out. And then gently come back up. And then release. So hopefully by now you can see that there is a little bit more stability or, or comfort in feet wide open. Mm. I think I noticed maybe because of our different body shapes that as a, a bit shorter maybe I can't lift up very high without bringing the elbows up the ones I'm only coming to here mm -hmm. so I suppose it still depends a bit on body yeah. types okay so we do a little bit of our butt crack kriya next so again just open your knees maybe a little bit further so think if you are standing you will be standing with the legs wide open or if you're sitting also your legs sort of wide open so slightly open again your feet on the floor now we just want to drop our right knee on the on the elbow onto the right knee make yourself comfortable and then take your left hand down on the floor to the left side and then can you breathe in and then can you lift your left arm up all the way behind so instead of going up if you look here what we want to do we want to go back from the side so really opening the chest and upper back and also giving a nice massage into your hips too and breathe out release your spine okay mm -hmm. so hand down along the left leg to the side and then breathe in open from side and take it back and then breathe out release breathe in and out breathe in and out. Now we're going to switch our sides, your left arm or your elbow on your left knee, right hand on the floor to side and breathe in, swing open and out, in, out, in, out. And then release. Relax. So yeah, in our butt crack kriya, if I was feeling a bit comfortable, maybe I can take it a little further, then I can come slightly forward on the chair and take my legs a bit more wider. 
So see if I was standing there, I would be standing with the legs wide open like that. But here we are on the chair, so legs wide open. And then breathe in here. And let's just gently come forward. So you take your right hand to hold on to your right leg or on the floor. If you feel comfortable, even you can bring your right hand in the middle to give you a bit more balance. If you can, you can hold on to this. So you can either hold on to your leg or on the floor. So choose the variation you like to. And your left hand down to the left side. And then breathe in. Take your left arm out. And this time all the way up to the sky. And then breathe out. Release. We want to follow it as a kriya. Two more. Breathe in. Out. A really beautiful variation of our Parsva Konasana. One more. Breathe in. And out. Now we choose change our side. So again, either your left hand to the left leg or on the floor to the middle. So choose the variation you like. And when we're ready, right hand free, breathing in, swing it open. Out and release. Breathe in. Out and release. And one more. Breathe in. Out and release. And then gently and slowly coming back up. Just bring your feet, your legs when you feel comfortable. Sit back nice and comfortable. Take your <laughs> just to say, um, just generally with the chair, sometimes um, you might find that when you sit back, the spine collapses. So I think it's if people need cushions behind just to help kind of encourage a good posture, then that would be good to use something, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm. Because for me, it's, again, it's probably because I'm shorter, it kind of somehow doesn't feel quite right for me. So I need to come forward a little bit to feel like I'm sitting up. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So now I just to sort of exploring it, I thought in the first lesson, what I really wanted to introduce to, to really create a bit of also, I guess, enthusiasm, excitement, like how much we can do into exploring the practices. So one of really beautiful variations of Surya Namaskar in our tradition we follow is Vedic Surya Namaskar, which is a really, really great practice to enhance our physical strength or flexibility, also improving the breathing into your lower, mid and upper lobes. Also great practice to, to activate your, your pranic and apanic energy, then we can tune the energy to flow up and down. And it has the three different parts of the Surya Namaskar. So we do the first part. So we just use our arms to really bring the energy from the lower, mid and upper lobes. So that's your breath and also raising the energy from the sacral and then taking it up into the higher chakras. So let's just sit comfortably, if you like, and then drop your arms down. So your palms face back. And then focus your mind into your lower lobes, your lower lungs. And then breathe out, if you like. Breathe in palms to the front, roll your arms into your shoulder blades and open. And breathe out, roll your arms back, your palms facing back. Breathe consciously into your lower lungs, in, out, in, Out. We're going to raise our energy and breath also into the mid chest. So breathe in palms to the front and bring them to your heart. And then breathe out. Release your arms down and then palms pointing back. Again, breathe in. Out. In. Out. In, out, raising your breath also in upper chest and energy over to the crown. So in, palms to your heart and mudra, look up if you like and out and release. In, out, in. 
up. We can expand our energy a little bit further with the Tadasana when you sit. So breathe your palms to the front, to your heart, Kanjali Mudra, and also raise your heels up to come up in your tiptoes. But press your toes onto the floor and then out and release. In. Out. In. Out. One more in. Out. Just relax your hands in your thigh. Just close your eyes and relax for a minute. Just to breathe in and out through your body. Keep them aware or conscious. And if it's a good time to mention about the repetition, the amount of times we repeat in practice. Mm -hmm. So, um, Namna tradition is actually a very important part um, of what we call Yantra. And so, those of you that have trained with us will, should have already heard this. But we'll usually do any kind of sequence in a repetition of three, because three is representing the number of manifestation. Um, or, if you've got more time and you want to go a bit deeper, it's the number six which is a number of responsibility. So this can help really encourage people to take that responsibility for their own health and well-being. Um, and then nine, a repetition of nine is like a complete cycle of a practice. It's like a, a number of completion. Again, that's something to do if you've got the time to do a bit of a longer and deeper practice with people. So the Vedic Surya Namaskar um, traditionally comes from a Gitananda tradition and it's one that works with the different sections of the lungs. So when we work on our sectional breathing, you'll learn a bit more about this if you don't already know. But this, these hand movements, we're, we're really concentrating on directing the airflow into the different parts, which can be um, controlled to some degree through our mind, especially if we're used to the practices. Um, but we'll work on them later on in the course. Okay, let's just sit quiet for a moment. Okay, and then this short practice, we will close it with our, our energy balancing work. A set of very simple Pallavani Kriyas, where we do the leg and hand and head movement. And it's also really good to, to enhance our neuroplasticity and the body awareness. So stimulating the nerves and the, the pranic, apanic or the right left energies to bring sort of balance. So four of your feet sort of close together, just sit back and make sure that when, you, when we're doing the, the Pallavani Kriya the chair, your chair needs to be quite comfortable. Don't lean too far back when you're doing the leg lift as you don't want to fall back. Or if you are working with people who are overweight or they need to have a bit more sturdy chair or they can also have the chair actually supported back against the wall so they can't fall, fall back into the practice. So just taking nice comfortable seat and Take a bit of extra weight on your left leg, so your right foot or your leg is nice and free. And if people can't do the leg movement, you can just do the arm and head movement. But here we will do all of them. So breathe out. Now right leg, breathe in, lift your right leg up and stretch it forward, toes pointing away. And breathe out, release. Two more, in. Out. In, out, and then left leg, in, out, in, out, in, and out.
Move your right hand, breathe in, lift it up straight up over your head and then out and release. Breathe in, out, in and out. Left hand in, out, in, out, in, out. Now your head, breathe in, take your head back, out. Bring your chin forward to your chest. In. Out, in, out, in, out. Just take a moment, relax here. Now, Drop your arms towards your right leg. Now, depends really sort of in, in some cases what, what I do or what we do to do the Pavan Mukta Kriya on chair. We're sort of breathing in and sorry, as we're breathing in, yeah, we fold forward, take our head towards knee. If people can lift the leg up, then you can sort of bring your leg slightly up. We can just have your toes still on the floor and your heels coming up. And then you take your head to the knee and then you ease your breath really consciously and open your arms to the front like this. And then we carry on from there. So the final <coughs> extension of the posture would be to come up like this, mm -hmm. where we're just bringing coming down first. Yeah. Because in the chair again for here now we are really working on people with the very limited mobility, so mm -hmm. just to keep it safe. Mm -hmm. But yeah, as as Deepika said, we can do both variations. So let's just try the one with the feet on the floor. You can just raise your heel up a bit. So breathe out and then in, raising your heel up and come forward to take your head towards your knee, ease your breath and open your arms. In, in, and we take our hands towards left leg, in, And then we can do second variation with Deepika if you like. So to come toward the edge of the chair and then breathe in as you catch the knee, head towards the knee and push out and release the leg and again in. Sit back and relax. So as we're just consciously using some of these kriyas to really enhance our breathing and release the stagnant energy, also stimulate our muscles. So it'll be really empowering to do the, the breathing with the Sparsa Mudras. So let's, Deepika can take us through that Sparsa Mudra practice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Are we doing each part or we just want no, to I think, do... think of the people on the chair so they can't really right, so... think like the front and side. That's why I think I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of best just to do Or the side, yeah. Or if, yeah, maybe. Just think properly. The side and then with the lower, lower is fine. And then I think, yeah, let's just do, I'll do front lower, mm. the side, and then the collarbone, right? Mm. 
Okay, so we'll explore a little bit the section of breathing from the seated position. So this, we can go very in depth and this can be a longer practice, but just to keep it very simple, just to give people a bit of hint, we start with Sparsha Mudra. Sparsha means the touch. And we're just bringing the palms to the front of the lower lobes of the lungs. Just check the bottom of the rib cage. And then on the exhale, the fingertips are more or less together. And then breathe in, feel the fingertips expand, draw apart. Out, two, three, four, five, six. In. Out. In. Out. Now bring the palms to the side of the mid chest. So think around the level of the heart. And let's feel that movement behind the ribs. So breathe out. Breathe in. Out. Sparsha Mudra to our upper lobe. So just bring the palms on to the collarbone area and just see if you can feel any movement beneath the collarbone. So breathe out, breathe in, out, in. Was great, thank you. This is quite a the Sparsha Mudra Deepika has taken through. They are actually very powerful practices. As so, when she start to look into the, the peripheral, the nerves that are coming across your the diaphragmatic area associating with the lower lung breathing, this is or, or voluntary breathing. The lungs are the involuntary breathing, but the, the, the breath that is supported with our diaphragm, the, the lower rib cage then the mid chest and then the upper collarbone and upper chest area associated with your rib cage and muscles and ligaments around it so by putting your hands there what you're really doing you're not only expanding your breath but by that spurse of your hands you're stimulating all those, those subtle nerves coming across this area which fires this sense of comfort or comfort or stimulus relaxes and response back through the nerves into your brain and and then when we study into the, the parts of the brain that is controlling your lower mid and upper chest breathing th these points are actually quite close to also the parts of the brain or the areas of the brain that is processing our emotions so by doing that then you also will find quite empowering that how it can really help to to release so many 
old negative emotions and stress or the burden that you have accumulated. And I guess sort of like if you think of day to day life, you know, when someone comes by and just put their hands on your heart for a couple of minutes, it can really relax your heart beats, you can relax your breathing, relax your mind. So, so the two ideas in the practice, not only stimulating your breathing, but also really helping to calm down our nerves and then the emotional well-being. Yeah, I think the Spartan Ridge is very much um, talked about as like an anchor for the mind as well. So when we have that touch at any, anywhere on your body really, but we use it specifically around, around the lungs, um, that it's anchoring the mind to that point. And as one of the scriptures says, where the mind goes, the prana flows. So, um, yeah, it's a very good anchor for the mind. And I think this is probably how a lot of um, other healing methods tend to work, like Reiki, um, concentrating the kind of focus um, in different areas just has a, a great effect in itself. Okay, so let's just sit back now, so have a little bit of relaxation. Yeah, the relaxation is always really important. In whichever position you are following the hatha yoga practices, adapt it either standing, sitting, lying or, or on the chair. So just sit back, relax or ease your shoulders and then softly, gently close your eyes. We're going to follow six conscious breaths. We're going to use our very subtle variation of our Sitali Pranayama or the Bastrika Pranayama, a very gentle variation. So we breathe in through the nostrils and as the figure took us through, expanding our breath into the lower mid upper lobe. And we're going to slowly breathe out. So just opening your lips a little and you can bring your tongue sort of in the middle towards your teeth and then just shine your breath and really listening that soft sound of your sign breath with the intention of letting go of any sort of physical, mental or emotional tensions and really taking your body, mind into deep relaxation. So breathe out, now slowly in through the nostrils and shine your breath gently. In through the mouth, out between the lips and over the tongue. In. In. And then sit still. Just feel this inner coolness or calmness, sense of ease, especially your mind, your emotions. And just pay attention to the gentle, soft and subtle breath. Trying to be just aware to your breath. Now we don't have to physically force the breath or expand the breath. Let your breath in and out in its own natural rhythm. You can listen to the sound of your breath. And then consciously, if you can, I'd like you to repeat 
six times from your mind or your brain that this relaxes in response to spread of or transfer right through your body from feet to head so consciously breathing in and as you're breathing out in your mind try to repeat my whole relax so breathing in consciously as you're breathing out repeat in your mind your whole body relax again breathing whole body relax breathing your whole body relax in whole body relax last one breathing whole body relax just take a moment just to feel the response of your body to your own thought your own suggestion six conscious breaths and with every out breath you're going to repeat now feel your whole body relaxing or I feel my body relaxing so breathing in out feel your whole body relaxing in your whole body relaxing in whole body relaxing in whole body relaxing one more in whole body relaxing and feel the relaxation feel the sense of lightness or ease through your whole body Another six auto suggestions. This time I would like you to repeat without breath my whole body fully relaxed. So breathing your whole body fully relaxed in your whole body fully relaxed in your whole In whole body fully relaxed. In your whole body fully relaxed. And just sit quiet, sit quiet and still like a beautiful statue in meditation, all in relaxation. Sitting still with a mindfulness. Feel the sense of empowering this inner connection, connecting with your own core, your being, your existence. Feeling that sense of joy or happiness. being kind, appreciative, loving, having that self-caring attitude of love, care and cheerfulness. Atma Sukham, sense of comfort and bliss with our own self, our Atman, consciousness. Just enjoy your quiet sitting or your relaxing meditative time. 